follow up now to the proposal for a new Pawsox Stadium, which now faces an uncertain future. The governor and uh, key administrators are refusing to act on the plan right now. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian talked to Pawtucket's mayor today about what happens next and whether the proposed stadium at the old Apex site can still happen. Kim joins us live in studio with what she's learned. Well, Shannon, it was just two weeks ago that Senate President Dominic Ruggiero said his chamber would not take up the Pawsox proposal this session. But he said if a bill was forthcoming, he'd consider taking it up during a special session this fall. Now Pawtucket's mayor says he hopes that bill could debut this week. Still pushing for the Paw Sox, Pawtucket Mayor Donald Grebian unveiled a draft Paw Sox bill two weeks ago. And now he hopes a reworked version will emerge in the Senate this week. I'd love to have it addressed, vetted out, and then stay an extra week if they had to. Uh, but at least have that legislation and I'm hopeful it'll get introduced this week. The $83 million proposal outlined in the draft legislation received a cool reception from Governor Gina Raimondo. And that's not something that I could support in good conscience. And without her stamp of approval, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello has said he won't act on the bill, but Grebian believes the new proposal addresses the governor's concerns. My understanding, talking to the governor, that uh, she will be very supportive of this project. The governor's office tells us she has not seen anything new from Pawtucket and her position has not changed. Grebian hopes even if the bill isn't acted on right now, it will send a message to the team. If there's not a bill on there to say, hey, maybe we'll do something in September, if there's nothing there, I truly believe that we are losing the poor socks. And I did reach out to the spokesman for the Senate president today. He tells me the Paw Sox legislation is still under review at this time. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.